guys, uh, last week we were working on Osoto Gari to uh, Kosoto Gari. Okay, now uh, Koso, we're gonna, I'll do the opposite here. Okay, Brandon Smith uh, asked to see this. If you want to see the full range, so let's see the full range here. This time we're going to do probably more common combination pattern is Kosoto Gari, kind of a fake, or it gets out of the you actually may really try it. And you end up throwing them either an Osoto Gari, major out of reed, or Osoto Garuma, major out of wheel, sometimes even plant into an Osoto Toshi, major out of drop. But it all sets up, and also another thing, you know, we talked about this earlier in practice tonight, with what we do, our feet have to be as fast like a boxer's. A boxer's hands are as bread and butter, jab, cross, all of, you know, a whole bit. Same with us, our feet have to be that. That's what, we have to think of our feet like a boxer does his hands. So we have to manipulate them quite well. This type of series of movements helps us learn that even if we don't specialize in this throw, this combination attack. And this is a very good combination attack. Been around forever, it still works, it still works. So what we're gonna do, Derek's gonna come in and try to, he's gonna, he's gonna he fake a Kosoto Gari like that and drill him with an Osoto. <laughs> And Mike says, thank you very much. Okay. But what, watch the setup, guys. The left hand's pretty key here because he's got that lock in there pretty tight. When he comes in and he comes in and shoots, man, he's chopping it down. He's killing this down here and he's just crunching it. And that helps the setup on the Osoto. So a lot of people don't use their hands very well when they set it up. Okay. Uh, you just come on if Mike let him dump it. just a straight Kosoto guard. Just come in and just like just do this straight close out of boom. That's why we have crash pad. There's a hard throw. But that's Kosoto Gari, okay? It's minor outer reaping movement. You're reaping them like this and the bottom of your foot. Now, we're gonna add it together. Now let's start looking at some other variations of this guys. We're gonna do a Kosoto Gari to an Osoto Gari, okay? Major outer reap, where it hits just one leg. So Kosoto plants. Also, bam, okay, that's a good one. We'll go next one I want you guys to practice tonight. Kosoto Gari, and he's gonna catch both legs. Kosoto Garuma, and that makes it look, shit, I made part in front of the leg. Now, last one will be a stand your ground type move, where it's Kosoto, and he comes in, he shoots to tie Toshi for the rear. Kosoto Toshi, right? And Mike can only take so much more of it. Jeff, you might come around here. Well, Derek, before you come on again. Okay. No. <laughs> come around here. This last one is an Osoto Otoshi. You think of Osoto Gari, bam, plant. You had planted foot, dropped it. That's the Otoshi, the dropping part. The Osoto Garuma is when you come in and sweep, and you basically sweep. It's an Ogaruma or Haraigoshi to the rear. And the other one, of course, the last one is Osoto Gari. So Mike's had enough of that. God love but those are those are the that's the most basic way of doing Kosoto Gari, Osoto Gari, Osoto Gari, Osoto Gari. Do them all together. Practice and get know them that way. It's a great series. This really teaches you fast feet. This is a great series to know. Um, if you want real good fast feet movement, fast foot movement, manipulation, good Good she say, body posture, good, good shin time movement. This teaches okay? Um, if you want to try this without the pads, do it, but don't throw each other hard, just kick each other down a little bit. But when you do, you see how powerful these throws are. This, when we do this with full power, let's use the crash pads. That's a great extra safety. Okay? Let's give that a try. It's a very, very big move down. Okay, thanks.